G'day guys, we've got an exam question today on integration, specifically the integration of exponential functions. Now like all good exam questions, this one has a slight curveball in it, where we're asked to do a definite integral of this function e to the 3x. However, we haven't been given a value for our upper bound of the integration, and instead we've been asked to define our area in terms of the upper boundary. So it's a slight curveball, but as you guys will see, it doesn't really change the process at all. So let's get to it. We've got this shaded region shown on the graph below here, is bounded by the curve e to the 3x and the lines y equals 0, x equals 0, and x is equal to a. Determine the area of r in terms of a. Okay, so like we would normally start off an integral question, we're going to say that the area or r is going to be equal to the integral. Now our lower boundary is x equals 0 and our upper boundary is x equals a. Now we're going to be integrating this function here, e to the 3x, with respect to x. Cool. So if we take this integral, guys, I'm not here to show you what the mechanics of integration are, I'm just here to show you how to do this particular problem. We're going to get e to the 3x on 3. Now this particular definite integral has to be evaluated between the points 0 and a, which if we actually evaluate it right now guys, we're going to have the upper bound, so e to the 3 times a over 3 minus e to the 3 times 0 on 3 which is equal to, now this thing here can't be simplified, however e to the 3 times 0 is e to the 0, which is just 1, so we can rewrite this as e to the 3a on 3 minus 1 over 3. Now we can put these both on the same base just to simplify it for ourselves. So we're going to have e to the 3a subtract 1 all over 3. So our answer is r, in terms of a, is r is equal to e to the 3a minus 1 on 3. Cool, so on to part b. We're asked to determine, in simplest form, the value of a for which the area of r is 21 square units. So we're going to get our solution from part a, and we're going to make it equal 21, and then solve for a. So, 21 is going to be equal to e the 3a, take 1 over 3. Now to start with guys, this is just going to test uh, your elementary algebra skills. We're just going to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. We take the 3 across, so we get a times by 3, and then add 1. So we're going to have 3 times 21 is 63, plus 1 is 64. Now from here guys, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to take the natural log of 64, and that's going to be equal to the natural log of e to the 3a. Now what I'm going to do is I know that 64 is 2 to the power of 6, so I can say that this is going to be ln of 2 to the power of 6 is equal to ln of e to the 3a. Now I'm going to use the log law where we have ln of a to the n is going to be equal to n times the natural log of a. So when we have a logarithm and inside our logarithm we have something to a power like 2 to the power of 6 or e to the power of 3a, we can take the power out the front as a coefficient. So we're going to do that with both of these here. So we're going to have 6 times the natural log of 2 is equal to 3a times the natural log of e. Now, ln of e is simply 1, so that will cancel out. And we're left with 6 ln 2 is equal to 3a. So therefore, a is going to be equal to 6 over 3 times ln 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we end up with a is equal to 2 
ln 2.